Hello and welcome to another beautiful day in the Austrian Alps. Today I am doing a product review of the ProSport 2-in-1 temperature and boost gauge in combination with the Alta gauge pot, an aluminium oil filter housing as well as another adapter that I'm using just to be able to measure the oil temperature of my Mini Cooper S. In total I paid 340 euros for this setup, so let's discuss whether it was worth it. Let's first tackle the reason I decided to make this expensive purchase. It's quite simple. The Mini Cooper S, though it is considered a sports car, does not feature any oil temperature reading, or at least not a very precise one. You can use an OBD reader to see the water temperature, but not a, an accurate oil temperature. And for several reasons I wanted to see the oil temperature rather than the water temperature. If you're more interested in why exactly I wanted to do this, there is some information about that in my video about the introduction of my Mini Cooper S. You're welcome to see that if you'd like to. In any case, I wanted to know the precise oil temperature of my Mini Cooper S and after some research I found the 2-in-1 Pro Sport temperature and boost pressure gauge and I decided to purchase it because the hard facts seemed really good to me. According to ProSport, this series is renowned for its top-notch craftsmanship and it also provides the flexibility of being able to measure either water temperature or oil temperature, depending on which you prefer. And additionally, it provides the possibility to gauge the turbocharger boost pressure. Personally, I was more interested in the oil temperature, but I figured it wouldn't be bad to also know the boost pressure because if I saw a loss in pressure, then I would know something was wrong with my turbo. ProSport also claims that the sensors are incredibly precise, even saying that you could use it for professional use. What's nice for the Mini specifically is that the gauge can illuminate in either white or orange light. And if you know the Mini, it has this pretty amber or orangey color. So if I set it to automatic, then the dash and the gauge show the same orange color. The ProSport gauge cost me 121 euros and 75 cents. To measure the turbocharger boost pressure, I needed an additional adapter from Craven Speed that cost me 79 euros. However, I think this is a mini specific purchase because there is a boost pressure sensor as well as an a temperature sensor already in the ProSport package. As I've mentioned, the Mini does not give you any information about the oil temperature except when the engine is overheating, at which point it is too late. So for this reason I decided to change the stock plastic oil filter housing for an aluminium oil filter housing that has two spots at which you can either, or actually do both, you can measure the oil temperature as well as the oil pressure to be more informed about what's going on in your engine. I like this idea to be able to measure the oil temperature or pressure at this spot because the oil circulates through the oil filter anyways, so I find it a very accurate reading. Admittedly though, I'm not a very big fan of this aluminium oil filter housing because as you may have seen in the video where I do an oil change on the Mini, it's a really difficult housing to get in and out of the car and if it is not screwed in super, super tightly, it will leak oil, which has happened to me before. However, that put aside, it's a very high quality product and it works. It does the job. The aluminium oil filter housing cost me 84 euros and 90 cents. So for two years, my setup consisted of these three products in combination with this gauge pot, which is 3D printed, which a friend of mine made for me. And this worked really, really well until the summer heat unfortunately melted a little bit and now it is bent, as you can, I think, tell. So <laughs> what happened was that it kind of dropped down and now if I use it, I can't see the gauge anymore. So I decided um, instead of just reheating it and Using it again, I would invest in some proper gear, so I've purchased the Alta gauge pod, or rather I didn't purchase it, I got it for Christmas. And I've been using it now for two months and I'm very happy with it. The Alta gauge pod costs 54 euros and 80 cents. 
Altogether, I paid 340 euros for this setup. I'm very happy with my purchase, but it does pose a question, is it really necessary to pay 340 euros just to be able to tell what your oil temperature and also turbocharger boost pressure is? Well, in my opinion, yes it is. Because when I drive in the mountains in the summer heat at around 30 degrees Celsius, maybe 25 degrees Celsius, and my mini heats up really, really quickly, I need to know when I hit 110 or 120 degrees Celsius, because at that point I really have to stop and let the engine cool down. So this information is vital for me and I find it stupid, honestly, that Mini does not have it. So if you have a Mini, consider getting an oil temperature reader in any way, shape or form, because the water temperature is not going to be sufficient. To look after the Mini properly, I've decided to make this purchase and I'm very happy with it. I find that the Pro Sport does read the oil temperature relatively accurately, at least I imagine so, because when I start the engine it always shows 20 degrees Celsius, which is the lowest I think it can go, but once I've driven the Mini for 5 to 10 minutes the temperature does rise and after I think 20 to usually 25 minutes the Mini is at temperature or at operating temperature which is 90 degrees Celsius or between 85 and 90 degrees Celsius. With that being said, I would love to know your opinion on this product and also on if you have a Mini or any other car that doesn't show the oil temperature. Do you think it's important to know this measurement? And I think that's it for the video, so thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!